Hello, uh, what's your name? Jonathan Helmer. Uh, nice to meet you. Uh, I remember you from uh, your, your Facebook. Uh, anyway, um, so uh, are you having a, a good time uh, here at the, at the Farmers Union? Um, yeah. And uh, like uh, you got to get to know some of the people that uh, that you meet meet on Facebook and stuff, or. Yeah, I really, really enjoyed meeting and talking to a lot of these people. They uh, um, all have, most of them come from the Amish background and stuff, and, and we have a lot in common, you know, uh, understand each other, and a lot of the same rejections and hurts and stuff like that, and, and also experiencing a lot of uh, seeking for the truth, experiencing a lot of the same things coming out of the Amish. And uh, yeah, I, I really enjoyed the day today. Have a mosquito. Yeah. Mosquito trying to bite me there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So yeah. Uh, so uh, how long have you been out of the Amish? Oh, it's been ten years since I've actually left the Amish. We moved to a community in Montana that was Amish at one time, and they are all now have left the Amish, the entire community has. Mm -hmm. So they were kind of like in transition at the time, so uh, we were part of that for a year, and then we completely left uh, about a year later. So it's been 10 years that we've completely left the Amish, yeah. Okay. I personally left in 98 for the third time. <laughs> okay, the third time? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, well, once I left, I left for good. I was back in the fall of 99 that we moved to Libby, Montana, and then uh, we moved to uh, uh, not too far from there, like 60 miles from there, to another uh, group of people that we got to know while living in Libby, but yeah, um, it's been quite the journey since we've been out. So have you, uh, have you, uh, do you know the Libby, Montana people uh, very well? Yes, I do. I know them. Uh, Pretty much most of them. There's some that have moved in there since we've moved away from there. That I've I've heard well. I've heard of them, but I was not sure. Uh, I'm not really sure that if I know anything about them that uh, much. There's a YouTube video uh, on there uh, on you. It's called uh, Amish in Libby, Montana, or something like that, uh, and it's made by. guy's name now. One, one of the people in the group or? No, no, there's somebody that came in and did a, a video. It's a very good, very well put together video. If you go on, just Google, you know, or put in your YouTube, it's a Libby Amish, something like that. You'll see, it'll, it'll pop up and it, he interviews a lot of the different people there and stuff. Okay. God was doing a good thing there. We just moved on from there, and uh, it's been quite a journey since then, living out in the culture, the rest of society. Yeah, and uh, how long does it really take you from when when you uh, finally decided to to uh, to leave to to kind of got on on uh, on your uh, get your identity, <laughs> you know, so to speak. Uh, um, I would say about five years, okay. five or six years. That I really, that I really found who I am and found my own. You know, this this is who I am and that's where I fit in. in the reason, the reason I ask that is because uh, I was just interviewing uh, Joe Kine from um, Amish, uh, from uh, Mission to Amish people, and he he said uh, about three years for. That's about the average for, yeah. for most people, and uh, I thought that was kind of interesting. That uh, I'm not sure exactly. <laughs> it probably was about three to five years for me too. <laughs> yeah, it, it's it, you know it's been a journey. You know I'm still still finding out who I am, and, and I think that's a quest that everybody you know you're discovering. Uh, you know what their dreams are and see if you're Amish, you're not really allowed to have your own dreams that are pretty much formed for you mm -hmm. and stuff. So 
to come out and start dreaming and knowing and discovering who you really are and what you know that, that God has made you in His image and, and you are very unique. He's put you here for a specific purpose, mm -hmm. and to figure out what that purpose is. It, it it's taken me probably about five years since I left the Amish to really discover who I am and, and yeah. find my true identity. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I, I can see that. Um, so, uh, what have you, what have you uh, discovered so far? Did, like, uh, uh, it, to, about the day, like uh, meeting these people. What, what, uh, how was it? What did it go through your mind to, uh, all the day? To... Well. Everybody's on a, on a journey, you know, and we're, we're all seeking the truth. And some are, you can tell, you know, talking to some of them, some of them are further along in their journey. Some of them really know who they are, what they believe, and all that kind of stuff. Others are still trying to figure it out and all that. And you just encourage everybody. You don't condemn anybody for where they're at. And you just try to come along and, you know, encourage them to continue to walk and seek the truth, you know. Sure. Um, I, I've been really blessed today and everybody I've talked to. And this is your first time here? This is my first time at the former Amish reunion, yeah. Uh, and by the way, this is the 15th, uh, 15th year really? that, uh, for this uh, reunion. And uh, I've been coming here for over a decade on and off, but uh -huh. not a, I've not been here every, every uh Reunion they've had, but, uh, but I've been here all, all together over over a decade now. So, wow. uh, so, and I've known uh, Ada Lennon for for a number of years. So, mm -hmm. what, when did you get get to? When was the first you heard of this reunion? Actually? Well, actually, it was when we lived in Libby. I think. Um, a couple of the Libby ministers or the, that were connected with Libby came here uh, about 10 years, it would have been about 10 years ago, and uh, mm -hmm. they, they told us that they were here and stuff. That's the, that's the first little blurb that I heard about the former Amish reunion, you know. Mm -hmm. and, but um, I got connected with Joe Kime here from uh, Matt Ministries, and uh, I write articles in his... his uh, bi-monthly paper that he sends out to the Amish voice mm -hmm. and uh, really feel a connection you know a, a heart for people that that come from the Amish and the people that who are still Amish and stuff mm -hmm. to just encourage them in their faith and to seek the truth yeah uh, by the way anybody wants to get on that newsletter they can uh, go to the map ministry website and uh, and uh, sign up for it and yeah it's a free free uh, bi-monthly news newsletter uh, I enjoy reading yeah. it <laughs> from time to time I get those in the, in the mail um, well thanks for, for your time uh, you're welcome nice meeting you Joe I've seen your uh, YouTube uh, clips and stuff I saw those like I said this morning I saw those uh, before I met Joe actually <laughs> And I was like, Mr. Deleted here. <laughs> <laughs> I understand. <laughs> well, thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. Bye. Bless.